Okay, so this is an experiment I'm doing. Um, I saw a few people online do this on different PCs. Um, particularly ETA Prime did it on a laptop, but I wanted to know if... Now this is a uh, Lenovo M93 Tiny PC. As you can see, it's a small form factor. But I wanted to know, could I add a... Um, I bought a... Uh, Geoforce uh, GTX 1060 uh, low profile card, which is right there. Of course, I can't put it in there. Um, of course, it's too big to fit in there, but it does have a mini PCIe adapter connection. So I figured, why not try? So I bought a PCIe to PC ie16 adapter um, plug that into the tiny pc goes to the adapter here where that plugs in uh needs power so because of course this power supply ain't going to do it so have a power supply connected to the adapter to give it power and so far everything's come up now i'm still running video from the internal card um I don't know, it looks like it detected it, but I'm going to install the drivers. So right now we're 65% complete. Um, so I'm going to try to see if, once I install the drivers, if this actually detects the 1060 um, GeoForce card. So I'm going to pause and uh, once we get the drivers installed, we'll see if it actually uh, works. Okay, so it looks like everything's working. Uh, it looks like Windows detected it. Uh, when I initially did this, I had to boot off the internal card first. And then um, once I did that, Windows detected the uh, 1060. So here's an example. There's Device Manager, NVIDIA GeForce GX 1650. I went ahead and disabled the uh, internal card. And then under Task Manager, as you can see, the GPU 1 there. And then... Uh, I'm running coin ops in the background here, so that's why that's doing that. Um, but everything's running, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into coin ops and uh, run pinball because I didn't uh, do like games on the uh, stock and then games on the 1650. Uh, this was just something I did to put together at the last minute. But um, I was just going to run pinball on here because normally. From what I've been told, pinball really doesn't run well on the stock uh, tiny machine because it doesn't have the uh, GPU to do it. Uh, so I should be able to run pinball pretty well on this, but now it's got the uh, 1060 in there. So uh, we're going to give it a try. Okay, so I disabled the music because it's South Park and I didn't want to get um, possibly dinged on YouTube. But um, as you can see from the video and the pinball, uh, it seems to work pretty well. Um, Again, it's um, again. I have I did not run this on the stock video card that was in the tiny M93 tiny machine, uh, so I'm not sure how well it ran on that. But as you can see here, running on the 1650, it seems to be running fine. And uh, I was doing this with one hand, so um, that's why I'm not hitting the right flipper. But as you can see, everything seems to be running fine on it. Um, so. Um, yeah, so, I mean, so all in all, um, if you really wanted to do this, if you had, a, if you have an M93 Tiny Machine and you wanted to add a um, GP, GPU to it, uh, um, you could do it. Um, again, you just have to get the um, mini PCIe to PCIe 16, you know, adapter. And dock, uh, you'd have to get a PC power supply to power the dock, uh, and that would power the card because they're definitely not the power supply that's in the tiny machine is definitely not going to power this thing. Um, but once you did all that, um, Windows should detect it, and it's you know drivers installed and everything should work. Now the question is, is it practical? I mean that's up to you. I mean you could, I mean you could buy a case. You know they also sell cases where you can encase the. Uh, external GPU. I've seen them on eBay. I quickly did an eBay search I and mean, you can find them for 50 bucks. So 50 bucks for that, 50 bucks for the dock and then the power supply, whatever much that is, let's just say 25 bucks. 
uh, maybe more than that. But you know, so you're in talking investment of upgrading it to hundred, about one hundred twenty-five dollars. But again, that question becomes: Is it practical? Um, and the question, you know, and that's up to you. I mean, it may be better off just buying a uh, you know a small form factor one instead of like an ultra small form factor with this, which is what this is. Um, and putting in that um, low profile uh, G-Force card in there and doing it that way. But if you already have a tiny machine, a tiny uh, M93, and you wanted to do this, uh, you could. It's just, is it worth the effort? Me, like I said, I just did this as a last minute experiment. I had the parts and everything, and then I watched ET, uh, uh, ETA Prime, and I was like, well, let me see if I can do this. and. Uh, and the experiment worked. I didn't do a whole lot of testing with it, just did the pinball. Um, I mean, I may do more testing um, if I feel up to it, but um, again, it was just more of a, can this work? And yeah, I can. So again, I'll say it again, is it practical? Don't know, that's up to you. But if you, want, if you already had one and you wanted to upgrade it, you could. Um, just uh, if you put it in a cabinet, um, you know everything's hidden so anyway um, so that's about it again this is just something I threw together um, just wanted to see if it could be done and it looks like it can and um, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for uh, watching